So I ain't have to scheme. Raw diamonds on my team. Raw diamonds on lean. I took out just like a rocket. I'm gone. I lost you on high king. What's up YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream and we're here to bring you my post scoring animations. This has been a highly requested video from some of you and so we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna get straight to the point. So my jump shot is custom jump shot. I call it the bird special because my release is a mix of Jabari Bird and Larry Bird. Um, I can't remember exactly which bass I'm using. Uh, it doesn't exactly show me but I'll show you what it looks like. I've got some other custom jump shots in here I just messed around with. It's an interesting shot. It's a set shot base, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is a set shot base. It works pretty well. It's a green, it's a very green mid-range shot. Um, three is alright. I'm still kind of looking for a better one, but I want to find my own shot. You know what I mean? For people to say that something is the best jump shot right now, I don't really know if that's true or not because the game's only been out a week. And there are literally thousands and thousands of combinations for jump shots. So to say one is the best. I don't really believe it but to say that it works yes for sure but to say that it's the best I don't know if it's the best so this is what I'm using right now but I'm definitely gonna switch it up I've got some other ones here I've been trying out some of the set shots um, some of them look all right some of them look pretty weird I'm just like that one that shot is super weird I haven't tried it out yet because it looked way different in the jump shot creator and then it came back in here and it looked way different <laughs> but anyway so this is my jump shot my free throw, I don't really know. This isn't really too much of a big deal. I just put on Jamal Crawford. And I just threw it on at the start of the game. I just haven't felt like switching it. My dribble pull up, Trey Burke. I thought it was very... Oh my goodness, that looks weird. I don't do dribble pull ups, so I don't really use this animation, but that definitely looks weird as hell. I can't lie. But I had a different jump shot on when I put this on, so this looks weird, but I just like the quickness of the Trey Burke uh, pull up. Spin jumpers, normal. I didn't do anything crazy with it. Uh, I thought this was the best one. I just like the moves the best for it. My hop jumper. So this is, yeah, this is my hop right here. Normal 14. I have looked at James Harden. Uh, he does quite a big step back, but I like the space that is created on this one. Look how far you jump. You're from the circle and you jump all the way to the corner of the three-point line. It's a very, you create a lot of space with this uh, hop jumper. So that's why I put that on. My post fade. I use post fade 3. Honestly, I haven't really shot post fades this year. I've been doing more post hop shots and that kind of stuff like that. But this is the one I decided to go with. I might change it up. But this is the one that I've been rocking with. My post hook. When my post hook 3, I thought it kind of looked pretty smooth. Again, I don't really do too many post hooks. I basically do my post moves, dunks, layups, post hops. I don't know. I'm still just like thinking that it's not going to be a consistent shot for post fade or post hook. And I'd rather do my post hop. I think I can time that better. But I should start getting into that. And so yeah, my post hop shot, post hop shot one. I think this is easily the most popular hop shot in the game. I know some other YouTubers use post hop shot one. I also use it as well. You create the best space with it. It's easy to time. Yeah, it's just overall great post hop shot. It, this is definitely the post hop shot you want to use if you're a post scorer. My shimmy fade, I use, um, yeah, shimmy fade 7, I don't know why it goes like that, but yeah, this is the one I use, a little turn, a little fade, looks pretty nice, it's quick, it's smooth, that's what I'm looking for, I'm looking for quickness in the moves, and the smoothness in the moves, and how they look together, so that's why I went with shimmy fade 7, I put a bunch of different ones on here, because they also look nice too, but I just decided to go with number 7, here you can see a couple other ones, a little nice shimmy there, but yeah, I, I, overall I like number 7 the best, my shimmy hook I went with number two again I don't really do this move either but again I was looking for the quickness and the cleanness of it and I thought this was the most appropriate and my dribble moves these are actually fairly important my moving crossover I actually really like my moving crossover it's nice it's quick it's low to the ground it's hard to steal you can combo it with the behind the back I've had some Fairly nice clips, and especially in TakeOver, I've noticed that my dribbling is definitely a lot faster. Because Mike Wang has said that shot creating is uh, and ball control is a primary skill of shot creating. And so it makes sense, TakeOver, that's going to boost it a little bit. 
But once I get to 94, my ball control should go up another 6 and it should be into the 70s. So I should, I should be able to do dribble like fairly nicely and be able to run up the court and do some nice dribble combinations. But again, you don't want to do too much because you are a power forward. And your ball control is still very low for... Well, it's actually high for a power forward, but... You still don't want to be dribbling the ball too much. Because uh, you got a point guard. But these guards in the park are absolute trash, man. I have been running with random still. It's been absolutely awful. These guards don't know how to pass. And especially in Pro-Am. Like, 80% of the time, I'm leading the team in assists. And I'm on the freaking power forward. And I only have bronze dimer. And yet, there's a point guard. Pure playmakers out here that aren't even passing the ball. It's like, what are you doing, man? Like... I don't know. I don't really get it. Anyway, moving behind the back, I really like this one. I got some clips to show this off for you. It's definitely worked. You gotta hit it at the right time. You gotta be close enough to the defender. They don't expect it. It creates enough space. You gotta have a good behind the back dribble. 18's been effective. 17 effective. You need a good behind the back dribble in order to create space and get by your defender. It has worked for me a lot of times. So that's the one I recommend going with there. But again, if you think you like something different, go ahead and use it. I'm just showing you what I use. I'm not saying that you have to use this, but this is what I use. If you feel you like something better, go ahead and use it. I'm not stopping you from doing that. I'm just laying out the groundwork for you on my build and what's working for me. Now my moving hesitation, I want number three. I don't, I don't really think it matters what you do for this one because I don't really do a moving hesitation, but I like the little space right there that he backs up on compared to all the other ones so I thought this one was very nice my standing size up moment normal six I just like the quickness of the moves the simplicity of the move it's not too much I'm six foot eleven I'm a power forward I'm a big man I'm not supposed to be really dribbling but I thought this was an all right looking clean looking and quick looking uh, animation again compared to the other ones that one's all right that's not bad basic is pretty basic that's why it's basic <laughs> Moving size up combos, I went with normal two. Again, the quickness, the little shimmy there, like the little, yep, that move right there, I thought that was effective. I thought I might throw the defender off thinking that I'm gonna cross right away and then I don't. He might get a little lost. I did look at some other ones, I looked at normal seven. That one's, I don't like the way he puts the ball out there. It's gonna get stolen too easy, especially in this game because people are just spam. That's all you're seeing right now. Park size up, I ain't put nothing on there. Size up packages, I put normal four. So this is more for like, if you're a sharpshooter, I'd say this is better for it because that's what you do the jumping left and right with the R2 and the left stick left, right stick right, sorry. I don't know, I didn't really, I don't do that too much either. You can really throw on whatever you want there. Uh, my size up double hesitation. This is also the one that I decided to go with. I like the space it created off of it. The nice little in and out dribble. Again, way better than the basic. Basic, you're moving like three centimeters to the right. There's no point really doing that. <laughs> uh, size up double crossover. I'm on normal one. Again, you're pretty limited in your options on the power forward because you're not a dribbler. So you got really limited options here. But this is the one that I went with. Again, if you like another one, go ahead and use it. Normal three for the size up double between the legs. I, I've always been a fan of the Jamal Crawford uh, between the legs. I have used that in an 18 and 17. I uh, honestly, I love Jamal Crawford's dribble package, but you can't get Jamal Crawford on this build. So I went with normal three because this is the closest thing I can get to doing Jamal Crawford with my big man. Anyway, if you're a guard and you're watching this, just checking out builds like that, I do highly recommend the Jamal Crawford dribble package because you do get so many great moves that get you so much space and openness. It's super effective. You don't need to be a dribble god and do the freaking momentum cross, spin around two times, dribble in, then go back out and pop a three. You don't need all that. You just need to get open. All you need is the moves to create space and get open, and that's it. You don't need to spam a bunch of dribble moves anything like that size up double behind the backs i went with normal two once again again i like the quickness of the behind the back a nice little quick double dribble behind the back that's the one that i went with triple threat style six i go with whatever here they're like honestly the same but i just liked i don't know i always like step in that's more of my real lifestyle i'd say i i'm kind of dude that's why i picked that one i do that in real life 
Triple threat size up, normal 26. You got a ton to pick from here. I wasn't sure exactly which one to pick, but I ended up going with normal 26. Look at that. Just that first initial move is so quick and so clean, I had to go with it. Look how fast he puts that ball between his legs. Boom. Like, that's incredible that I can do this with the power forward, actually. So there's a ton in here, and if you again, if you like something better, go ahead and use it. I haven't even done this in the park yet or anything like that, because if I do this kind of stuff, I'm going to get ripped. I already got people double teaming me and spamming square when I'm in the post. It's super annoying, super frustrating, but there's not much you can do about it. So again, I don't, do pick whatever you want. I'm just showing you what I use. Now for my dunks and layups. Uh, so layups, I got to go with a long athlete for sure. Um, there aren't too many options available for me right now. But once I get my layups into the 80s, I am going to use the dominant big man layup package, I believe it's called. Uh, somebody told me about it on Twitter, but I haven't really been into the animation store again to check it out. But I know that you need an 80-something driving layup. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure that my build can get it. So once I get that, I will be equipping that layup animation package on. Dunk package number one, I decided to go with Daryl Dawkins. Why? Because he's Chocolate Thunder. He is one of the best big or dunking big men in the past eras. He is like DeAndre Jordan in the 80s and 70s, basically. He would absolutely destroy rims. He would knock rims down, shatter backboards. He just got a nice overall dunk package. I don't like the behind the backs or the back scratchers. Stay away from back scratchers as much as you can. But honestly, I haven't really been blocked much on a dunk this year. So far, I have had no blocks on my dunks, which is amazing. And my second dunk package, Giannis Antetokounmpo, very obvious. I think this is one that every big man should have. He's just long. He's athletic. You get He doesn't bring it back too far in anything. It's very efficient and very clean dunk package. So I pretty much bought like all big man dunk packages because that's what was available to me and most of them are very very good. Also got Dwight Howard. I guess I don't need to click through everything. I got everything right here. So yeah, Dwight Howard. I went with him. Again, he's a great dunker. Probably the best big man dunker in the thousands era. I would say DeAndre Jordan would be for the tens era. Well, right now, anyway, it, DeAndre Jordan definitely has the best resume for the 10s, uh, best big man dunker in game. But definitely Daryl Dawkins in the 70s and 80s. He was an absolute beast, man. Ben Simmons, you got to go with Ben Simmons as well. He's got a nice clean package. He's good around the rim. He's going to finish lots. He doesn't get blocked much. Another nice package to have. And same with Carl Anthony Towns. His is a bit slower. But you're going to make the dunks, and once again, you're not going to get blocked too much with it. That's where I've done that 360. I've done a drop step, and then I've done the 360 standing dunk. I haven't done that in park, but I've done that in career. But he, Carl Anthony Towns is definitely a nice dunk package to have. Look at the way he's taking off. He's explosive, powerful. It's very nice. And I got a little bit of big man windmills, a little bit of flashiness. Um, this one I pulled off in career more than anything. I, I truly love this one. Uh, I just love big dunks too like that. Tomahawks are some of my favorite dunks. I went with off two and off one. Boom. Nothing beats a tomahawk dunk in my mind. I love dunks that are so powerful. They just shake the rim to hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, breaking rims is amazing to me. You need a big man baseline reverses for sure. That's definitely a package you will want to have. Another one, athletic one-handers off two. is super great. Clean looking dunk package. You're not going to get blocked much on this. You're going to pull off some nice dunks, get some contacts. Front clutches as well. These are hard to block. These have been very popular in the last two years for especially slashers. You don't get blocked much doing these. Baseline reverses, once again, you definitely want your baseline reverses and you for sure want your under basket athletic flushes. This is how you're going to get lots of posters, lots of very powerful dunks, standing dunks in the paint. And again, athletic one-handers off one. Very clean, very smooth dunk package. So that goes, that does it for my dunks and layups. That's all I've got there so far. I haven't thrown any park dunks, anything like that on. No flashy passes, no pre-game rituals, nothing like that. The only thing I think I put on is some signature movement, but that's about it. So anyway, these are my animations. Go ahead, you can copy my exact stuff if you want, but by all means, you can make it your own, make it a little twist on it, 
maybe you can use all mine, but you only like a couple things differently. Go ahead, I'm just showing you what I use. I'm not saying that you have to use this, but these are definitely worthwhile and they have worked very well for me. Um, next, I'm gonna show you guys some clips. Uh, these moves in game, in the park, and as well in career. So anyway, first up, we're just gonna load up the clip here. And so the first one, we exactly it's behind the back, pump fake, go up with it. It's very nice. Here's another one, post up, post top. It's green. That's post top one. Very effective, easy to green. Um, we did have a new patch come out today. I've only played a few games. They said they fixed the dribbling in it. Sorry, not the dribbling, the layups for the big men. I had a guard guarding me the whole entire game. So I posted up 1v1. All right, this dude's tiny. He's got his weight at minimum. I'm 275 pounds. You're getting back down. Backed him down, did a drop step, and he's spamming triangle, of course. But then he's still tiny. He's still tiny. He's a guard. I pull off the drop step, go up for the layup. Oh, it says that I had a late release and that I was open, but I missed. And I was like, are you kidding me? There was supposed to be a patch today. Like, this was supposed to be fixed. And I have gold relentless finisher and a 90 standing layup. Relentless finisher didn't even fire off. Why? Because it was open. I don't know why. I'm, oh, it's just so frustrating with stuff like this, man. Post scorers can definitely be frustrating at times, or I guess it's just the game in general can be super frustrating at times. But again, the best word behind the back is super effective. You want to hit it when you're just close enough to the defender, create that space, and you're going to get easy man. dunks. So again, it's very effective. Look how well this works for me. Again, my guy has actually really good dunking. I don't get blocked very much too much on dunks. You will miss a few, but it's going to happen. Everybody misses dunks, right? But again, uh, my post tutorial that I had back then, and my guy can block too. I'm sorry. That was a nice block. I had to throw that in there. But the post spin to the reverse dunk, I showed you guys here in the park. It is very effective. It works great. I love using it. It's one of my favorite moves to do. Career, park, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, the jump shot you're seeing right here, that's not the jump shot that I've been using. That was my first jump shot that I made. It was green as well. I found that it's a bit better from the three-point line or the corner anyway for more consistency from the three from there. But I just love this jump shot that I got on right now, especially for mid-range. I got catch and shoot. Um, I'm still can increase my three-point. I think I'm at a 64 right now. My guy is at a 90, and I believe I'm at 35% to 91. I'm on my first bar. I believe it's one bar to 91, and I think it's two bars to 92. I'm not 100% sure. That might be flip-flopped, but that's what I believe it is anyway. And so they said that they fixed the jump shooting from the arc and the defense, but I don't know, man. Uh, people are complaining that they're wide open shots, they're not greening as, as much anymore, and they're just getting full white bars. I've seen people complaining about that on their stretches and that kind of stuff like that. But I don't know, still, if you're open, it should go in. And honestly, maybe they made it a little bit tougher to green shots because people have been greening like crazy, especially the pure shot creators. Some of the guards that you wouldn't expect to be able to like pull up and bang like that, they're pretty consistent. Because I've had, I played a pure shot creator on the twos one time and he was doing like 25 foot mid-range fadeaways and they were money. Like he scored the first eight points in four shots, I'm pretty sure he didn't miss. But then eventually we got the ball and dominated and stuff like that. Another thing that I just can't stand. I don't know why people try to set you picks when you're posting up. I've had another big man come over when I'm posting up, pushing my guy into the paint. He thinks it's a good idea to come over and set a pick. Why do you think that's a good idea? That just clogs the paint and then that creates your guy coming over to me. I'm going to get double teamed. They're going to spam square. That's an easy steal. Where is the logic in that? I'm so tired of playing with randoms. If you think you're good, please hit me up. Or, uh, sorry, actually, just hit me up because I'm sick of playing with these randoms. They're so bad. There's no IQ. They don't pass. They think they can do everything themselves. They don't trust teammates. It's so annoying, man. I'm so sick of losing. My record is absolute trash. 
It's the same way in Pro-Am too. I'd be sitting in the corner wide open. And I'll be I'll lead the team in assists. It's ridiculous. I'll hardly even touch the ball and I'll lead the team in assists because I actually find the open man. I've really been, think been thinking about making a guard, but I don't know. Anyways, these were my animations and a little preview of how they work. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Um, if you're new, please subscribe um, and enjoy the content. And uh, have a great day, folks.